Welcome to our exploration of the distributed file system, commonly known as DFS. DFS is a pivotal technology that allows the creation of a virtual file system across multiple servers, providing users with a seamless access point to files distributed across a network. The beauty of DFS lies in its ability to simplify file management and enhance availability, making it an invaluable tool for organizations looking to streamline their file sharing infrastructure. DFS operates on two key concepts, namespaces and replication. Namespaces allow the aggregation of shared folders located on different servers into a single unified namespace. This simplifies user access to files distributed across the network. Replication on the other hand, enhances data availability and redundancy by duplicating shared folders across multiple servers. Together, these features ensure that users have continuous access to data even in the event of a server failure. Configuring DFS shares in Samba involves several key steps to ensure seamless integration and functionality. First, ensure your Samba version supports DFS. Then, within the smb.conf file, define your shares and explicitly enable DFS by setting msdf's root equal sign yes. This marks the share as part of a DFS namespace, allowing Samba to handle DFS referrals and enabling clients to navigate the DFS tree transparently. Imagine a scenario where a multinational corporation needs to consolidate file access for its employees across the globe. By setting up a DFS namespace, they create a global namespace, Company Global, that includes shares from servers in North America, Europe, and Asia. This setup not only simplifies the file access path for users, but also provides the flexibility to add or move shares without impacting the user experience. Users access Company Global as if it were a local folder, unaware of the underlying complexity. When configuring DFS, careful planning and design are essential to ensure scalability and manageability. Consider the organization's current and future needs, structuring the namespace to accommodate growth. Additionally, monitoring and managing DFS replication is crucial to ensure data consistency across the network. Implementing monitoring tools and scheduled checks can prevent replication conflicts and ensure that users always have access to the latest version of their files. Even with meticulous planning, you may encounter issues with DFS configurations. Common problems include replication errors, inaccessible shares, or incorrect namespace paths. Effective troubleshooting starts with verifying the smb.conf settings, checking network connectivity, and ensuring correct DNS configurations. Logs can provide invaluable insights into the root causes of issues, guiding administrators toward resolution.